branding in education and the role of social media and technology. So, what exactly is social media? I mean, I, I was actually uh, planning to uh, do a short survey and I thought to myself, uh, I'll, I'll ask uh, the audience, how many people have heard of LPU? I mean, maybe you can just raise your hand if you've heard of LPU. LPU, I've heard of LPU. LPU, lovely professional university. How many people have heard of Amity? Oh my gosh, that's rather pleasing. And how many people have heard of Karunia University? See, that is one of the points I'm going to raise. Wonderful universities, fantastic places of learning, they may just lose out in the race because, you see, the social media is making sure that the mediocre players, uh, I mean, maybe I'm not really right in calling Amity a mediocre player today, but the truth is that there are a whole lot of mediocre players who are gaining or getting mileage because they understand the social media and they understand the way it is helping them brand their own image. It's, it's all about image building today. Everything should not and need not really be outsourced. Where is the point in outsourcing everything? You really, these are all in-house things. And these all, all these things should be encouraged in-house. So, uh, engagement on Twitter, for instance, why not? Engagement on Facebook, why not? Only uh, uh, two or three weeks back, uh, around that time, when we had the cat strike in Delhi, I, I, instead of my blog, I wrote an update uh, of around 200 or 300 words on what I think the situation in the, in the, of the cat strike is like and why Uber and Ola are actually doing a good service and, that, and the Kali Piri taxis are, are not doing what they're supposed to do. And believe me, that little update gave me more than a thousand likes. And there was, there was tremendous engagement for that one little post. There were hundreds of people commenting and giving their point of view. So this is what engagement is all about.